This is it, girl. This is it. Avalok's being a dickhead. We're gonna fight him. Simple as that. There's a portal over there somewhere. Oh, great. You know what? We're running in there with Quinn. Just so it fills back up. Alright, there we go. Hey, buddy. Um, yeah. Never trusted you from the beginning. You wanna explain yourself? <laughs> Just casually stab. <laughs> Geralt, so unfortunate. I'd hoped you wouldn't have to witness this. Where's Siri? Nearby. Listen. Shut up. <laughs> I've heard enough of your bullshit. Draw your weapon. Let's get this over with. I think you will not attack one unarmed. Wouldn't be so sure. I'm in a foul mood. I am not your foe. I am merely helping Cirilla. I don't believe you. Can't. Not after all that's happened. Will you believe me? Avalok speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the tower. Because I aim to enter it. Oh god, these are both really good questions. Um... Hmm. Didn't think it worthwhile to tell me? Warn me of your plans? I'm sorry, I know, I should have. But I feared you'd not understand. <sighs> Feels like I'm talking to Yennefer. <laughs> Leave with me, please. I will go. Once I emerge from the tower. Why the hell would you do this? The Wild Hunt's been defeated. The White Frost has not. But, like... The prophecies are true. I have seen worlds bound in ice. I know what awaits you. Only the Elder Blood can stop the White Frost. Only I can stop it. Okay, well, we're not saying that. Um, look at that smug face he's got back there. I don't like it. Hey, you don't have to make this if you don't want it. This is your decision. Don't do it, like, because you have to. God, these decisions are going to decide everything. Okay, I got to be real. Oh, God. Um, I can't say this. No annihilation. She'll probably be like, nah, yeah, I've seen it. You don't know what you're talking about. I can't do this because she'll be like, nah. I, I got to let her know she doesn't have to do this. Although she could just be like, but I want to. You don't have to make this sacrifice. You're wrong. The White Frost is inevitable. It will come to freeze the world one after the other, eradicating all life. Only I can stop the destruction. I've given it much thought and made my decision. There's got to be another way. What can you know about saving the world, silly? You're but a witcher. This is my story, not yours. You must let me finish telling it. Oh, God. Oh, I'll let you finish telling it. God, I don't want to witness this if she doesn't do well.
So these are all the things I decided to do with her, I guess. explaining okay The gentleman will follow. Oh, what? Okay. Captain. War in Einstein. Report. Fort Kite Squadron. Okay. The Punsberg Division as a whole. Um. Does General Voorhis know? He's what is happening? They're not letting anyone in. Nonsense. Get in there and report to him at once. I mean, if that's what Siri wanted to do, then that's fine, but what happened? God, the Emperor is gonna be pissed. <laughs> if that's what. Yeah, he's gonna be so mad. What happened to my daughter? Well, um. She walked into a portal. And I don't even know what happened. Thanks for making, not making me wear those fancy clothes, man. I kept them just in case, though. Speak. Siri is dead. What? No, no you, you How did it happen? The white cold. You're familiar with the prophecy? Siri tried to stop it. She did. But paid the ultimate price. Where is the body? I doubt it'll ever be found. Who else knows? Avalach, Elven Sage. But I doubt you'll find him either. And Yennefer? She's decided to stay in the north. Provided you don't object. I don't. And you? Um, eh, I'll just tell him, I guess. We're, we're on a good note right now, as it seems. Plenty of work for witchers after a war. I'll travel east, maybe north. Did Cyrilla say... Did she ask you to convey anything? Man, she didn't give a shit about you. <laughs> um... I'm gonna be honest with them. I. She didn't say much. We didn't talk about you. I see. Just being honest. If there's nothing else. There is, but you may go. Witcher. I do not wish to see you ever again. Likewise. Likewise. Oh, that, that change in music right there. <laughs> okay.
Some time later, Redania rode to the zoo. Something wrong with your uh, armor there, Geralt? Need a hand with your wagon? Uh, no. It's not exactly ours. More a captured vehicle. Booty, you might say. Folk must have abandoned it in their rush. To where, I don't know. Be a shame for the Reds to claim it. Loot it. Change is coming. Grown accustomed, we have. With the Black Ones gone, witch hunters will move in. Yet life will roll on. We've to seize the day. True that. So, let's get to work before night creeps up on us. Sure you don't need any help? I believe we will manage. Where are you headed? Nearest inn, by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former campsite of the Nilf Guardians. You take care now. Okay, now it's fixed. That was really bugging me. Okay, so we're meeting someone. We're either meeting Yen, or he lied to the Emperor and we're really meeting Siri. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Come on, you were just lying, right, girl? You weren't... You weren't for reals. That's my hope, anyway. Oh, wolves, calm yourself. Come on. She can't be dead. Sh she's tough. There's no way. She wouldn't let a little cold get to her. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Yeah, I thought, I don't know, I, I guess I really thought we were going to fight Avalok, but it makes sense that we didn't actually fight him. He just had something in mind that we didn't agree with. But, eh, surprises everyone. Oh, dude, we haven't been here in forever. Hey there. Oh my gosh. Alright. Oh, no guards, eh? Hello? Master Ort. <sighs> There's nobody, dude. Probably got held back. A few hours later. You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. It's 38 and a half inch blade. Weight, just under 40 ounces. Silver plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes, both the length of the blade and on the hilt. Beautiful. Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. When I say no witcher has, or ever had a better weapon. You ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Ord. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Yeah. Zirael. Swallow. Classic Elder Speech runes. No styling. Simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, had my lackeys put out a training dummy. Mm hmm. Your payment. Gems only, as requested. If you've an eye out for work, heard a Strigger's prowl in the Maribor Forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck on the path, Witcher. Thank you, Master Ort. What a pal. Anything good in here? Psh, that's crappy after what we just got. The boots probably aren't any better, but we'll take them. Hey! Probably not gonna fight anything, but... Um... Oh, never mind. Where's the frickin'... The, the grindstone? Is that supposed to be it? Or is it below us? Ah, whatever. We probably won't need it anyway. 
Is it equipped it? Out of curiosity, just in case? Required level one? What? It doesn't have a thing on it. Okay. Interesting. Um, I guess let's just go to the inn. Something's going on. Uh. Oh, there you are. Hey, Roach. Over here. Plenty of blades to try, if it's your will. Yeah, really? Did you not see what I? Did? What a dumb. I don't need no blades. I just got a great one. Well, so I think. We're gonna find out in a bit. The end's kind of far, so let's just travel and see how it goes. Oh, we little wolves. I remember you from the beginning. It's crazy being back here. We haven't been here in forever. Oh. God bless you? Shades! The Witcher! Ah, we'll chase him. Where'd he go? Footprints. Oh, the God. Dwarfs. Uh, this way. Heard some wolves. All right, out. What's wrong with you guys? How was your trip? Smooth sailing. You still on about that leaky tub from the Isle of Mist? You're lucky you and that lass weren't in it with us. <laughs> You'd not have fit anyhow. You're so laid in that boat. We barely made land, and it reeked of fish manure. Uh, you did steal my boat. You stole my boat. Borrowed. We knew it was yours. Still is. You don't think we'd do that to a mate like you? <laughs> Plow you soapless while you slept off a bender. Uh, hmm? Oh, that's good. <laughs> so, gonna give me my boat back? Why in the God's names would you need a boat in this brush? Fair enough. Forget I said anything. He's just over it. He's like, ah, screw it. I thought I recognized the one with the yellow cap. I was like, is it him? But it's just him. So I'm glad we followed him. How'd you wind up here? Our affairs brought us here. Hard times, you know. Got to earn the coin where you can. Folk around here need surveyors? We've shifted our efforts. Investors, now. Investors. They've come for us. Hide! Who? Huh? What's going on? You've not seen us? Alright, the what'd they do? Oh, there's a Where place of power they? right there? Dwarf. What the heck? Don't feign ignorance. We've been after them since yesterday. After they stole the Reverend McKellis' golden chalice. <laughs> Anyone aiding criminals will be subject to punishment by the Holy Tribunal of the Eternal Fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is that? Who's this Reverend McKellis? A traveling preacher. A saintly man anointed by the Hierarch himself. He's purged thousands of souls already. By, uh, purging, you mean the cleansing fire at the stake? <laughs> you know of another way. Gosh. Eh. No dwarves here. Mean to say this is your camp? Five tankards, five saddles. Yours. Nope. Been tracking these dwarves for a while. About two days ahead of me now. They abandoned this camp in a hurry. Something must have scared them. Hmm. Could be they heard about Reverend McKellis's ire. Let's go. A new mutant. Better not get in our way. 
They're the lucky ones. I would have killed them like a split. Oh, thank you for that, Witcher. Eh, no problem. I told the lads back then you're a good fella, and we shouldn't have took your boat. Heard you've gone into investments. Asset management. Aye, aye. Investments in movable assets. Well, these days you just never know when... That extra gold chalice could come in handy. I get it. What did you do with it? Eh, uh, we don't have it. I found a buyer. Mr. Mirrorly, what was it? A funny name. Paid good coin, though. We'd share it with you. We would, but but you look like one who just frown in any proceeds from theft. <laughs> Aye, you got that righteous frown on you, definitely. Eh, uh, I really don't care. I don't want your coin. <laughs> look at him, all offended. You think we showed him a picture of a naked lass? Witcher's got their creed. No stealing, no pinching wenches at the tavern, and no assaulting travellers. We make exceptions, for travellers especially. <laughs> oh, uh, farewell, Witcher. I don't need the coin. Where is that damn place by? It was right behind me, right? Place of power. How did I miss it? Should draw from it. Wow. It's probably not even going to help at this point, but take it just to take it, right? I get an ability point, so. Alright, Roach, get back here. We still have to get to the inn. Whatever awaits us there. Um, back on the road. Is he already dead? Yeah, he's, he's already dead. Don't get a layoff. Oh my god, they are hanging people like crazy. This whole eternal fire thing. Excuse me, guys. Is this the first inn we started at? Uh, oh god. Well, we just might fight someone, so we'll grindstone it up. Hello? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. Oh my gosh, this whole world has gone to shit. Uh, yeah, you guys... I <laughs> thought something was wrong. You guys just had a few drinks, that's all. Everything's normal. Yes. Did he believe you? Oh god. I have no idea. Oh sweet. For the cockatrice. And we've a new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it worth the toil. You've been busy. It's yours. Yeah, now it's kind of weird that I named it after you, but uh, it's yours, so whatever. A witcher's sword, swallow. Mm-hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, Witcher. <laughs> Well deserved. Let's try it out then. Yay! <laughs> awesome. Radovid had many faults. Oh. He was cruel, impetuous, and pathologically ambitious. But he was a tactical genius. That's undeniable. Commanding forces far outnumbered by his foes, he handily defeated the invader from the south. The Redanian Eagle spread its wings, taking all the north, including Novigrad and Leith. With victory in the war against Nilgard secured, 
Radovid proceeded to complete his witch hunt. As they had in Novigrad, pyres burned in Temeria and Edirne, lands now liberated by the Vidalian monarch. In the drive for moral renewal, simple herbalists, pellers, healers, and non-humans, all supposed heretics, were murdered in droves. For many, freedom beneath Radovid's scepter proved more tragic than servitude to another. As long as his armies went from one victory to the next, Emir's subjects remained boundlessly obedient. When a string of humiliating defeats proved Varembri's fallible, the opposition, thus far secret, attacked. The subjects of the Emperor who had danced on the graves of his foes laid him to rest in a tomb of his own. Oh, damn. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dull. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rihanna, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kovil. While monarchs moved borders and populations, Geralt and Yennefer lived a calm, quiet life, far from all things political. They breakfasted well afternoon, more often than not in bed, and passed the days on lazy strolls and long conversations. Boring, you say? Perhaps. But both had sought this more than anything else. That was really cool. I'm really glad, um... I'm really glad they gave feedback on everything else based off our decisions. Because I know those things do change based off our decisions. So, things could have definitely ended worse. Um, for all I know, they could have been better. But either way, I really like what I got. Um, I was curious what happened to Yen at the end, because they were like, let's go fight some stuff. I'm like, I thought Yen wanted to go to the north and, like, chillax. <laughs> so I'm glad that got explained. So, basically, Siri lived, we got to fight with her, teach her a thing or two, she got to do her thing, be happy, and then Yen and I got to just escape all the politics and, you know, settle down and have a chill life. I love it. That's the ending. That's the ending for me. Couldn't have asked for anything else. That was great. Um, part of me was like, there's no way Siri's dead. But at the same time, we gotta make decisions, so I didn't know if that affected... I don't, I don't know if she always lives, no matter what your decisions are, or what, but... Thank God she's not dead. So... Whew, I... I'm happy with the end. I, I really wonder what happened to Avalok, to be honest. Is he just chilling somewhere like, ah, oh, yeah, help save the world. That's it. That's, you know what I mean? I don't know. So. Oh, crap. These credits are probably going to roll forever. Because <laughs> the game took so long to make. So I'll just say what I want to say now while it's going. I had a lot of fun playing this game. By all means, it took forever. Um... And to be honest, I kind of rushed through it. Uh, however, what is this, like 70-something 70, 70 episodes? Each pretty, pretty long. And I, I know for a fact I just scratched the surface. We focused on the main stories, and then every now and, and every now and again we did some side stuff. There is tons of more side missions to do. Tons upon tons. And then there's also DLCs. But even besides that, there's still tons of missions each with their in-depth story that just kind of pull you in it, it's amazing i it's it's just amazing I, I love it i love it i love it so um i did want to finish it up though um so you know everything's got to end eventually if i if i finished it 100 percent who knows how long we'd be going with this and for me something to move on so every now and then I might jump on to do another quest or two but I just wanted to get 
finish. See that ending. It's been too long. And there it is. God, I had a lot of fun playing it. There's so many other things I didn't even get to really explore. I kind of... I wish I played on a harder difficulty. Just so it forced me to... Constantly be collecting resources to craft better weapons. And potions and... And bombs and things like that, but... I wasn't sure how it would be, and so... It was somewhat e I mean, there were some tough fights, but it was somewhat easy overall. I never really had to upgrade anything. It just... If I happened to pick up a better one, I happened to pick up a better one. I didn't have to save to buy a better sword or clothes or... Uh, buy a bunch of different potions or whatever, you know? So... But, I mean, I could always start again. I believe an even harder mode comes out after you beat it. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about that, but I, I think that's true. That would be crazy stuff. Um, the music's great. Whoever composed it, I think it already went by. Props to them. This is It's beautiful. So... Shit. Um, I'm guessing the flashbacks that Siri had... were Well, those were obviously the choices we made. So... It looked like it was only like three choices right there, like three flashbacks. But I'm guessing more was determined besides just those three. Like, I'm sure, a bunch of other decisions we made took effect. But I don't know. So, this is a great game. Um, if you're curious for more, I encourage you to play it yourself or watch someone else to see what ending they get. For sure. Um,. And this is one of those games where you can just have fun and go kill shit. <laughs> oh god, it feels good to be done. Oh. Alright, well, I'm gonna let these credits finish rolling. They deserve They deserve their have they deserve to have their names scroll up. This is props to all these people for making such a great game. So I'm gonna have a scroll up, and I will talk to you guys when it's finished.
Well, that's sweet. Alright, the story of Geralt of Rivia has come to a close. You can continue traveling the world in search of a Witcher contracts and adventure, but everything will be as it was before the game's last chapter, and quests tied to the main story line will no longer be available. Makes sense. Basically, yeah, all secondary quest stuff. Makes sense. Makes sense. Alright, well, I mean... Like I said, there's still so much to explore. There's quests everywhere, crazy stuff. Um, but for us, that that just about brings us to a close. Um, I thank you guys for joining on this crazy long, I know, <laughs> adventure. Thank you guys so much. Um. And I guess just time to move on to something new. Always got to do that eventually, you know? So, as always, leave a like if you did, all that good jazz. And I hope to have you guys in the next one. See ya. Or bear, or bear, or bear, or bear. Shit, son of a basket eating monster. Holy, climb up. Ooh.